All right, what's up everybody? So today in this video, I have a quick A and B uh, test comparison, whatever you wanna call it, between the Stellar X2 and the Rode NT1. Real quick before I go on and uh, demonstrate the power of these microphones, um, this is the first video where I'm using the Avalon 737 plugin that was released by Universal Audio. Um, for some of you guys who didn't know, um, it's pretty apparent, I put it in the title, but um, I did get a new Apollo twin, so this is the first official video where I'm like demonstrating it to its fullest. Anyway, so that's the audio interface that I am using for this video. You can actually kind of see it over there in the corner on my desk. Um, so I figured I would put it to the test with this video and see which microphone I like the most on this Avalon plugin. Um, so I thought this would be fun to for one for me to see and then also at the same time This will help you guys figure out which microphone do you like the most? Do you like the NT one more or do you like the Stellar X2? For me, it's a toss-up because they're both amazing microphones at the end of the day um, But we'll get to the to the end of it by the end of this video We will figure out which microphone do we like the most so anyway, let's go ahead and get started with it both of them are being recorded in at around anywhere from negative 18 to around negative 15 max. So they're kind of just bouncing around inconsistently uh, that way. So that is how I am tracking the vocals. And this is the Rode NT1. I'm gonna switch over to the Stellar X2 so you can get an idea of how that sounds. And then we'll figure it out. Which one do you like the most? Which is the better one out of the two? So switch over so there's a pretty clear difference between both the microphones in terms of what they sound like this one definitely has a way higher presence boost uh, compared to this one considering how the frequency response of the NT1 is much more flat and neutral you're just getting a flat mic out of the box that you can do a bunch of tweaking to to make it sound like you know a microphone such as this one that I'm currently using so out of the box, the Stellar is going to sound much more bright and definitely, I would say, a lot nicer out of box uh, just because you're getting that presence boost. And it's always beneficial, especially for speech, to have a presence boost. It just sounds much cleaner than having a flat, dull microphone. And that's a fact. When you go into EQing this microphone, more than likely, you're going to be adding some presence boost. You're going to go around, you know, maybe four. 4,500 to 5,000 kilohertz and, you know, boosting by a decibel or two. So at the end of the day, this microphone just comes pre-presence boosted out of box. That's really the difference between the two. Um, with the exception of, you know, there's maybe a couple different spikes within the, um, you know, the upper frequencies around maybe 1,000 to 3,000 kilohertz. But other than that, it's really the main difference between the two of these mics comes down to presence boost, n no presence boost. So for me, I wouldn't get rid of either one. I'm definitely keeping both of these microphones because I enjoy the way that they individually sound. And what I'll do is for my NT1 for videos where I'm probably just gonna be doing a voiceover or just talking to the camera like this, I'll probably use this because this is more natural sounding. Um, however, if I'm gonna be making music, I don't know, it's kind of tempting to switch over to the Stellar. I mean, I'm, of course, I'm probably going to use the NT1 for music as well. Um, the last video I made where it was that, that rap video, I used the NT1 and I love the way that that audio came out. I have no problems with using this microphone for that reason. And I'll, I'll probably still continue to use it for music. But if I'm trying to go straight out of box and get this very shiny, present sounding um, sound out of my microphone, it's tempting to definitely use the Stellar. The Stellar is v very nice out of box, like straight up, just sounds nice out of box. You don't gotta do a whole lot of processing with it. But the NT1 is flat and you can get away with a lot more using this microphone. So I don't know, it's kind of, it's up to you at the end of the day. Um, I'm curious what you guys think about both these microphones. Which one do you personally like? For me, it's hard to pick one just because I think that they both serve their own purpose and that they'd be great for a number of applications. And like I said, if I'm gonna track somebody singing or if it's a track where I just know I'm gonna want to have more presence in those vocals, I'm gonna definitely probably just stick with the Stellar. I'm probably gonna just use the Stellar for that track. 
Again, it's pretty comparable to a TLM uh, 103. It sound it has that same presence presency sounding uh, tone to it so I can get where people compare it to like a u87 and a TLM 103 a lot of people would disagree with that but I can see where they're where they're coming from but at the same time I also do like the flat and neutral sound of the uh, NT1 so I don't know I'm, I'm keeping both of them there's no way I'm selling either of these I love these microphones the NT1 is probably my favorite at the end of the day if I had to pick one mic the NT1 is probably my favorite um, just because I like the ability to have more flexibility I can change I can change the sound of the microphone if I really need to. I think if you don't have the NT1 you should definitely consider it if you have the Stellar already I don't know if it's, I would say it's necessary that you need to go and buy the NT1. I think there's a time and place to use either one. So, you know, you can't really go wrong if you own both of them. But if you already have the Stellar, I don't know, maybe, you know, just stick with the Stellar. The Stellar is going to get the job done and sound amazing anyway. So don't worry, you know, you don't need to go out and buy an NT1. I just love this mic. It's my favorite mic ever made. So that's why I bought it. But I do like the sound of the Stellar. But anyways, guys, I think this is enough audio for you guys to make your decision and figure out which one you guys enjoyed the most. Again, I think I'm going to have to go with the NT1 because I like the flat neutral sound. Um, maybe just specifically because it's a voiceover type of thing that we're doing right now. I just think that this one sounds a little bit more natural and a little bit more pleasing to my ear than the Stellar. So I think that's going to wrap up the video. If you have any questions regarding the microphones or really anything, uh, just leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you. I hope that you were able to find this video helpful. Maybe this helped you pick over the NT1 over the Stellar or the Stellar over the NT1. Um, but other than that, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace out, everybody.